following is a live presentation of Retro Sports Network, home of the champions of the past, present, and or future. Oh, hi, hi there, everybody. My name is Ron Juckett. Welcome to the program for this 21st day of September 2021, or September 30th, 1984, the debut of a show on CBS, which we'll talk about Thursday. Today, we feature a game I would never have thought of, that we would never have done when I knew that we would be doing in 1984, as the Indianapolis Colts have come out of the gate 2-1 and one to start the 84 season, and they come down to the Orange Bowl to play the undefeated Miami Dolphins. Now, Dan Marino, this is his 5,000-yard year. He is not on the pace to get 5,000 yards as of yet. We'll get to that probably more on Thursday when we do the halftime show show but he he should have a big day today in real life Miami pounded Indianapolis the Colts fell to one and three Frank Cush by the way is the coach of the Indianapolis Colts Don Shula of course is with the Dolphins so the Dolphins start have started off three and oh we saw their game against Washington they beat New England I think in the interim and I, I, we'll just show it at some point. So it's a big one for Miami if they try to start the season 4-0, and and they should. In real life, they were 11.5-point favorites. You're about to see what the line is in the, for this. But nevertheless, we try to get as many teams that, uh, as we can, and early on, the Colts are a good story. So it's the Colts and Dolphins right now. As Retro Sports Network presents NFL Replay 84, Week for action from the Orange Bowl in Miami. It is the Miami Dolphins and the Indianapolis Colts. And today's game is brought to you by DigitalDice.com, the best darn podcast on the web for your sports simulation and replay needs. Find us today on Spotify, Spreaker, iTunes, or wherever else fine podcasts are listed. So, it is not at Joe Robbie Stadium. That's a boo-boo within the game, for crying out loud. It is 83 degrees, the wind blowing about 5 miles an hour. The skies are clear. This technically was a late game on the National Broadcasting Company. Miami's line is actually better here, if you're a Colts fan, than the real-life line. And the reason why the Colts have done so well, well, just take a look. Mike Pagel with a quarterback rating of 84 and a half. Curtis Dickey has run for 350 yards the first game, four, three games of the season. And they have some decent receivers. Miami, in real life, they just pounded the ball against Indianapolis. Look, you got Clayton, you got Duper, you got Marino. You got superstars, and so I would expect Miami to win, but we're due to have them on. So let's do it, shall we? The coin toss is won by the Colts. They will have the football first. Miami in their home whites. Actually, no, I think late afternoon they're going with the teals. Colts in white, blue helmet. White face mask with the hor blue horseshoe on the side. Smith back deep to return it. He stands on his six. Anderson in, oh, sure, Caffensis. You're welcome. The upman for the Colts. Game starts at the goal line. Smith to the 10, 20, 30. Von Schaumann had his kick is returned to the 31 yard line. And that's where we shall start this game. Curtis Dickey's a bit tired. So it'll be Middleton who gets the start with McMillan. Mike Pagel, who's completed two-thirds of his passes in the early going, is your quarterback. Arch Schleister played in this game, and you might see him if Pagel struggles early. Frank Middleton is starting at, as a tailback. Randy McMillan, who has 200 yards already on the season, is the other back. The flanker is Ray Butler. The wide receiver is Tracy Porter. Not that Tracy Porter. And the tight end is Dave Young. 
Champ left for Frank Middleton. First play from scrimmage from the 31. He is hit at the 34 by Jay Brophy. Colts line up like this on their offensive line. Jim Mills, a left tackle. Ron Solt, pretty good left guard. Ray Donaldson is the safe center. Chris Hinton, the right guard. And Kevin Call, the weak link at right tackle. Second and seven, McMillan on an off tackle right. Pagel hands off from the 34. Hit at the line of scrimmage by Kim Bocamper. It'll be third down and seven. So the Killer Bees doing their thing. They have, of the 11 starting defensemen for Miami, nine have a last name that begin with B's. Kim Bocamper, the left end. Bob Baumhauer, the nose tackle. Doug Betters, you better you bet, the right end. He's got 10 tackles and two sacks in the first three games of the season. Charles Bowser, one outside linebacker. Jay Brophy, in the middle. Mark Brown, not that one, the other middle. And Bob Brzezinski, who has two sacks, is the other outside linebacker. William Judson, the left corner. Don McNeil in his breakfast club is the right corner. One interception already for Don. The safeties, Glenn Blackwood, he's a strong safety. And the free safety is Brother Lyle. Third down and seven. Medium slant to Porter, the call. Pago back to throw. He has time. He's got Porter at midfield. And Judson brings him down for a gain of 15. So first and 10 on the Colt 49. Just the start of things here at the Orange Bowl in Miami. And it's not at Joe Robbie, as the computer tried to tell me. Middleton. Off tackle right on first and 10. Hand off from Pagel. Over midfield. Hit by Bo Camper after a gain of 5. Opening drive of the game, the Colts, who I don't remember them being very good their last year in Baltimore. Third week as, or the fourth game as the Indianapolis Colts. And the first time we have them, their home stadium, by the way, the Hoosier Dome in 1984. Will later become the RCA Dome, ironically after RCA spun off NBC to General Electric. Second down and five. Ray Butler. Medium hitch. Pagel back to throw. He's got time. He goes at the far sideline and that is deflected by Don McNeil. It'll be third and five. Dickey in for the first time today. As Pagel will try to keep this one close to the vest. He's going to try for Dick Curtis Dickey. Goes to the nearest sideline. He throws. Curtis has got it. Has he got room? A first down over the 40. And that's a gain of 10. Mike Kozlowski with a stop. The Colts, if you're wondering how they started the year 2-1, and one, they are a powerhouse so far on offense. 351.7 yards a game. But their defense isn't that great. They've given up 397.3 yards a game. And don't forget, you got Mr. Marino. Miami's going to put up some yards in this one. Dickey. Sweep right before he gets pulled out for being tired from the 36 to the... Th I misread that play. Let's call that one again, shall we? I looked at the wrong one. Hand off to Dickey, and he is stood up behind the line by Charles Bowser. And that is a loss of four. So second and 14, Middleton back in the game. Frank. Oh, we're going to go with McMillan? We're going to go with McMillan. Pitch left on second and long. 
He gets it behind the line, does, and he has some room. 35-30, first down, 20. He is not brought down till Lyle Blackwood can make the tackle at the 15-yard line. A gain of 25. Wowzers. Here it is again. He just had a... He made his own hole. He just found the seam. They didn't need to make a hole, and Miami wasn't watching for it. So first and 10 for the Colts at the Col at the Miami 15. Clock running 10-25, first quarter, opening drive for Indianapolis. Butler on a medium fly. Pagel back to throw. He scrambles. It's deflected by Bob Brudzinski and will hit the turf. He was looking for Middleton and couldn't get him. Second and 10. Middleton. Block tackle. Right, they will not audible. Pagel will stick with the original play call. Is that the right decision? Yes, it was as Middleton gains four. Bo Camper makes the tackle, and it'll be third and six for the Colts on the Miami 11. Would be a Suchi the kicker? Oh, it's Raul Alegre. Suchi is on the bench. So they carry two kickers. And two punt returners. So third and six for the Colts. They go three wide for the first time. We don't need Dickey out there. Curtis Wansley will block. Matt Booza, who's up at the top of your screen. On a medium out. Pegel to throw. He rolls right. Throws left. Booza. Touchdown. Mike. Matt Booza puts the Colts on the board first. How about that for an early going? So the Colts on their opening drive. 11 play. 69 yards. 6.05 off the clock. Cinderella, normally that play doesn't work. When you roll to the right and throw opposite in this game, it usually is not a good thing. But today, it was a great thing. So Booza makes the catch. And Raul Alegre tacks on the seventh point. 8.49 to go in the opening quarter. Miami to get the ball for the first time. 7 nothing, Indy. So Alegre... With the ball in 35, Heflin back deep for the Colts on the Dolphins. Kozlowski and Blackwood, who I need to change out because they didn't have a return. And six yards deep. That is a touchback. Oof. Von Shaman. Von Shaman. Von Shaman. Roby. Clayton there. And everyone's got a backup, right? Everyone's got a backup. So Marino takes over at center from his own 20. Three weeks in the season, 64% of his passes have been complete. Joe Carter, obviously not that one that fullback. Tony Nathan is the tailback. Nathan a heck of a receiver too. Split in is Mark Duper. 20 catches already for 312 yards. And Mark Clayton 11 catches for 227 is the flanker. And Dan Johnson the tight end. Trap left to Nathan from the 20. Marino hands off. Nathan over the 20, brought down by Cliff Odom for a gain of two, second down and eight. The Miami line. Roy Foster, the left tackle. 
Ed Newman, who also does news breaks for NBC, is a left guard. That is a pretty good lineman right there. Dwight Stevenson, the all-world center. Ronnie Lee, the right guard. He smells pretty. Not a good blocker, though. And John Giesler, who is a good blocker, is the right tackle. Dupe are on a medium slant, and Marino saw something he didn't like, and so we get a timeout. 8-10 to go in the first quarter, 7-0 Colts. Duper medium slant, Colts blitz, Miami will not audible. Marino has time, he has. Duper wide open at the 40. It's a gain of 21. Tate Randall with the tackle. Last week against Buffalo, Duper caught 10 for 132. One today for 21 yards. It'll be first and 10 for the Fishies on their own 43. The Colt line. They play a 3-4. Blaze winner, the left end. Leo Wisniewski is the nose tackle. And Steve Parker, absent for picture day, is the right end. Johnny Cooks is the left outside linebacker. He has 13 tackles and two sacks in three games. Barry Kraus, the left inside linebacker, has a pick six on the year. Cliff Odom, the right inside linebacker. And Vernon Maxwell, his brother Vernon, played for the Houston Rockets for a while, right? He has two sacks on the year. Eugene Daniel has the uh, unfortunate fortune of covering Mark Clayton as a left corner. He does have two interceptions on the year. Tate Randall has Mark Duper. Nesby Glasgow is on Johnson. And Mark Caffin Demensis is the other safety. He also has a pick six on the year. First and ten. Carter trapped left. Hand off from Marino. Carter near side 45 over midfield into the secondary. As Odom makes a tackle after a gain of 13. In the real game, Miami ran the ball a lot. So 13 for Carter. And it's first and 10 for the Squishy Fishies from the Colt 44. Nathan. Short pass in the flat. Marino on the leg blitz gets sacked by Wisniewski for a loss of five. So Wisniewski's first sack of the day. And Marino's very rarely sacked. That was on the line. Second and 15. Carter on the draw on second and long handoff from Marino. Carter is hit for a gain of one as Blaze Winter got past Ed Newman, the left guard, and made the stop. So third down and 14. Nat Moore, the third receiver, he's at the bottom of your screen. Duper. Medium slant. Marino sticks with it. Blitz coming. Marino back to throw. He's got time. He's got Duper at the 30. First down, another gain of 21. So first and 10, Marino is 2 for 2 for 42 yards. Mr. Slovak remembers Nate Odom losing four Super Bowls with the Buffalo Bills. And my dad has another beer. First and 10 from the Colt 27. Indy leads 7 0 here in the first quarter. They stay three wide. Long slant and Nat Moore. They want the touchdown. Miami, good blocking. Marino throws to Moore at the 10. That's an easy six. Delayed blitz. Moore cut towards the middle of the field. Got it. Nobody around. And it's 7 to 6. That was pitch and catch. There was nobody around more at the 10. And he waltzed right in. So Marino, 3 for 3 for 69. And a score. And the extra point for Von Schaumann is good. So 4-17 to go in the first quarter. It's the Colts 7, the Dolphins 7. 
So Smith stands on his eight, and they will try to return this from two yards deep to the ten. And, oh, Langford with a tackle at the 16 and 18-yard return. So the Colts lose there. No, this is not, by the way, the real field that Miami used. But they didn't have one that was actually grass with that orange bowl in the end zone. Because that's what they used until the hurricane season was done. It wasn't until they moved to Joe Robbie that you had dolphins in the end zone for the entire season. Besides, they used prescription athletic turf, which was grass, but I'm not quite sure anyway. Frank Middleton. Sweep right on first down. Nope. Screen to McMillan. Pangolo audible. McMillan goes to the far side, and he is led astray. Pango three is six and nearly going for 36 yards. Second and ten. Colts, second possession of the game. They had the ball at their own 16. Fullback die for Frank Middleton. And Middleton fights out to the 19 before Glenn Blackwood can make the tackle. How are the Colts 0-3? Well, they're not. They're 2-1. and They beat the Jets at home 17-10 at their Hoosier Dome debut. They went down to the Astrodome and beat the Oilers 31-17 and they had a barn burner last week against the Cardinals, which they lost 42-35. to So this is the first time in the regular season the Colts have played outdoors in their first game on grass. In fact, they will only play two games all year on grass. Today and Week 13 against Los Angeles. So third and seven. Booza back in as a third receiver. Butler. Medium hitch. Pegel under center has time. He does not have any more time. He is out. Oh. Arch Leister comes in, but they remember they got a punt. Brudzinski just blindsided him, and Pagel's head just smashed against the turf. So the clock has stopped. Pagel said, I'm fine, but they said, no, you got to come out. And Pagel said, well, this is New York, isn't it? No, no, it's not. Roan Stark will stand in his end zone, win behind him here, a good punter, with Heflin at midfield for the return. Stark booms it all the way back to the 32. Heflin, however, gets it to midfield. Holding, receiving team, 10-yard penalty. But as you have in any middle school dance, there was much too much holding. And the ball goes back to the Miami 29. So a 53-yard return and a net of 55. How about that? Second possession for the Fishies, 3-12 to go, first quarter. Nathan, fullback dive, flag is down, somebody moved. Ball start, offense, number 64, five-yard penalty, repeat, As first Jerry down. Seinfeld will say, would say, Newman. So first and 15, Johnson now in the game with Nathan. And they'll audible a lot of that. A screen to Tony Nathan, the call. Marino didn't like that call at all. He goes to Nathan, 20, 25, 30, and he fumbles it. He fumbles it. Kathanitis knocked it away. It was recovered by Pete Johnson, and that's a gain of 12. So they get all that and the penalty back. Marino, 4 for 4 for 81 yards. Woody Bennett and Johnson are in the game as running backs. 
and they'll work out of the eye. Bennett. Trap left. Hand off from Marino. Bennett gets a block and a first down. Tate Randall with a tackle after a gain of seven. First and ten for the Dolphins. Marino four for four here in the first quarter for 81 yards. Now they'll go to Pete Johnson. From the fullback position, Johnson on a dive, and Barry Krause will make the tackle again to two. Second and eight, a minute 36 clock running. Nathan and Carter come back in the backfield now. Marino looks to his tight end, Dan Johnson. On a short slant, Marino back to throw. Johnson runs his route. Johnson has it in stride at the Indy 45. Nesby Glasgow makes a tackle after a gain of 13. And Marino is sitting on easy street. Five for five for 94 yards. So first and 10 for the Dolphins on the Colt 42. Clayton. They're going to try this. Post pattern on a bomb. Marino, can he get rid of it? He does. It goes down to Joe Carter. Carter gets a first down. Krause with a tackle, a gain of 11, and that will be the end of the first quarter. 15 minutes in the books. It's the Colts 7, the Dolphins 7, and we'll be back in a moment. Well, if you join us late, here's how we got here. Colts are 2-1 and one to start the year. Pagel to Booza on a third down conversion. Made it 7 nothing Indianapolis. And then with 4-17 to go, Marino hit Nat Moore to tie the game at 7. Marino in the first quarter, 6-for-6 six for, six for 105 yards. Pagel, 3-for-6 for, six for 36 both teams have run the ball well. Duper with two catches for 42 yards. But the Dolphins' offense is so good. 125 yards in the early going. They start the second quarter with the ball on the Colt 31. Carter. Trap left. Hand off from Marino. And Joe gets a block in the secondary and a first down. Tate Randall with a tackle after a gain of 14. My goodness gracious. So first and 10, the Dolphins are already in the red zone in a 7-7 tie. 14-15 to go in the first half. Ball in the Colts 17. Bruce Hardy. Medium cross from Marino. Dan back to throw. The ball is loose. And it is recovered by the Colts. It's recovered by Odom. It's recovered by Odom. And he returns it 39 yards to the Miami 37. Johnny Cooks just ripped the ball right out of Marino's hand. Odom picked it up. And returned it 39 yards. There is the strip right there. Boom. And Odom just had clear sailing. And Odom looks towards the stands going, you remember that, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Top about six points for the Colts. Wow, wow. So, Pangle. They're already in a leg gray range. Medium slant to Porter the call. Pangle. <laughs> is set for a loss of 12. I think the offensive line was watching that fumble return on the big screen here. 
because Mark Brown had absolutely no trouble coming out of the middle of the linebacker spot to send Pagel to the turf. Second down and 22. Dickey. Sweep and ride on from the Miami 49. Gets it to the 45 or 46 before William Judson can make the stop. It'll be third down and 19. They go three wide. Wansley in the backfield. backfield. He will block. Pagel out of the gun. They need 19. And try Porter. On a long slant, Pagel scrambles, flag is down, Booz has got it for a first down. The eligible man downfield. Offense, number 76. But Mills, it took so long for Pagel to find a receiver, Mills crossed the line of scrimmage, and so he was an ineligible man downfield. So you take the 22-yard catch off the board, and it'll be third and 24. And there are not a lot of good plays for third and 24. They're going to try Butler on a long out. Pagel rolling, rolling, throws. Oh, he had Wansley almost there. Doug Betters with a second hurry, and out comes Start as the Colts will punt from their own 49. Heflin back deep to return it. And Miami will let this roll. Start. Booms it, and it will. That's a good punt. That rolls that at the six. 45 yard punt, no return. So, following the turnover, the Colts can't do anything with it. 12 11 to go, first half, 7 7 the score. So Marino is 6 for 6 for 105 yards. Two tight ends set. Nathan and Johnson in the backfield. With Don jo Dan Johnson and Bruce Hardy, the tight ends. Pete. Trap left to get out of the goal line. Johnson is hit at the 7 by Wisniewski. So two carries, three yards for Johnson. Marino wants a little more room to throw the football. So Nathan on a fullback dive. Marino sticks with the original call. Hand off to Nathan. They were swarmed on him in the backfield. They blitz three. And Wernon, is that really his name, Colts fans? How you doing, Tribe fan? Makes the tackle. It'll be third and ten for the Dolphins at their own six. So Carter in the backfield. Carter will block. Clayton on a short cross. Marino from his end zone. Quick throw. Clayton rips it out of the hands of Eugene Daniel. Holds on for the first down. First and 10 from the 17. The Colts didn't blitz. First catch for Clayton. And it'll be first and 10 for the Squishy Fishies from their own 17. 10.45, first half clock running. Indy and Miami tied at 7. Nathan. Trap left. Pro set. Hand off from Marino. And Wisniewski stands him up at the 18. A gain of 1. Remember, tomorrow on Fall Baseball, I need a date on this again. Mr. Mr. Guardian fan. It's the 95 Indians clincher against Baltimore. It's the game that Cal Ripken did again. The Miami Ace Venturas. That's right. So Baltimore, Cleveland from 95 for baseball. But give me the date again for that. And then the next two weeks, we're going to sneak September 8th. Thank you. We're going to sneak in fall baseball maybe on a Friday. Because the next two weeks after this, it's triple header football action. There's some good games coming up. Second and nine for Miami. Carter. Pitch left is the call. Marino near side. Carter gets around and end, but not much. Winter 
Brings him down for no gain. Third and nine. How you doing, Mr. Mal? So Bruce Hardy. Tight short cross from the tight end, and the Colts didn't like what they saw. And so go call time. With 9.19 to go in the first half, both teams have two timeouts left. We'll run the same play. Marino blitzed, throws. Hardy's got it first down. He's hit at the 30 and doesn't come down. It only goes to the 31. Preston Davis with the tackle. 13-yard gain for Hardy, and Marino remains perfect. Nine minutes, clock running here in the first half. Carter. Fullback dive, handoff from Marino. Carter gets a block over the 35. Johnny Cooks with a stop. That's a gain of seven, second and three. The Dolphins ran all over the Colts in the real game, and you can see why. They're averaging 4.3 a carry and protecting Marino mostly well. The lone turnover was Miami's, but the Colts could not score. Nathan comes out. Bennett and Pete Johnson in the game. Clayton on a medium slant. Miami will work a screen again to Bennett. Marino, flushed, far side, no, bad pass. Steve Parker, Peter's younger brother, hurried him, and that's the first incompletion of the day for Marino and company. So third down and three. They'll stay with his formation. Trap right, Woody Bennett. Hand off from Marino. Bennett gets nailed for a gain of two. Could not get the three in Miami. Reggie Rodby and his watch will come out to punt. Barry Krause saved the first down. So a surprisingly strong defensive effort so far. Roby with the win behind him hopes to kick this one to Coral Gables. Anderson back to return. Oh my goodness, this is going to land inside the five. They're going to hope that Roby just... Blitzed it out of nowhere. In fact, it rolls out of bounds at the four-yard line. A 56-yard punt. You can hear the oohs and the ahs from here. So the Colts, 6.57 to go. First half. Start from their own four-yard line. McMillan. Trap right. Hand off from Pangle. McMillan to the five. The ten. He is hit at the 12 by Charles Bowser. Chris Hinton, the right guard with the big block. Second and two. If you weren't with us earlier, Pagel got his bell rung. And the backup for the Colts is... Let's see if you get this in the chat. Frank Middleton. Trap left on second and short. He is slapped down by Jay Brophy for a loss of two. <laughs> Reggie Roby's watch Twitter account said, Man, it's hot today, but my human has his game on. <laughs> Third down and four. Dave Young, the tight end. On a short cross from the 10. Pango back to throw. Good blocking. Young's got it at the 20. First down. Ooh. And Hinton grabbing his knee. But he'll be back. They didn't have to cart him out. First and 10 as Young got a 10-yard catch. It's not Jack Trudeau. Right, right college conference, wrong school. So first and 10 from the Colt 20. 5.21 to go. Curtis Dickey. Sweeping left on first down. Hand off from Peggle. Dickey over the 20. Hit at the 23 by Mark Brown. So second and seven. Middleton back in the game. Not Harbaugh. Right error, though. Harbaugh would eventually be there, and so would Jack Trudeau. 
it was the consolation prize for the Colts for not for not being able to sign John Elway. Second and seven. Middleton. Off tackle right. To the 25. He's hit there by Brudzinski. No, to no long played for the Chuck Long played for Detroit. So third and five. I didn't think I'd stump you with this one, guys. Ray Butler. Medium cross. Pingo back to throw. He's blitzed. In fact, Betters brought him down for a loss of eight. So fourth and 13. Yep, Art Schleister. He's your backup today. And you might see him because Pingo has found the turf for the third time. And the Colts will be forced to punt from their own 17. Shula not too happy on the sideline. Miami has 166 net yards, but only seven points to show for it. Rome start. <laughs> Todd B with the punt of the morning. I would have bet on that, as you should have. The man who just got... Was he really just, just get out of prison? Man. Man makes Ryan Leaf look like a choir boy. Maybe not Johnny Manziel, though. Start from his four. Sideline punt. Heflin from the 32 to midfield. A great return, a 21-yard return. So Heflin returns to the Colt 45. Go to the fridge and have a cold malt beverage. Colt 45. So first and 10 for the Squishy Fishies. From the Indianapolis 45-yard line, Marino. Long fly to Clayton. Colts blitz. Marino's got time. He doesn't have Clayton, though. Daniel with a good defense. Lee, one of the offensive players from Miami's out. So second and ten. 2.59 to go. Makes you wonder if Elway didn't have a problem with Frank Cush, how different things may have been. I don't think they stay in Baltimore. I think that's the one thing. If you're going to butterfly Marino, I mean, uh, Elway to stay with the Colts, they're not staying in Baltimore. Second down. Carter on a trap left. Marino hands off. Carter <laughs> is hit for a gain of two. Third and eight. Johnny Cooks with a tackle. I think everybody had a problem with Frank Cush, one of those college coaches that just could not translate into the NFL. He was a good coach at Arizona State, but from the Bear Bryant model of it's my way or the highway, and that just doesn't work when you're getting paychecks. Duper. Medium slant, third down and eight. Marino has all sorts of time. He's got Duper at the 25. Mark is hit at the 23. For uh, his third straight gain of 21 yards. Three catches for Duper for 63. They're going to try to get a playoff before the end of, before the two-minute warning. So Clayton from the 22. Medium hits. Marino back. Has time. He goes to Nathan instead. Tony gets a gain of eight. Lee, the right guard, is back. And that will take us to the two-minute warning. Nesby Glasgow with that tackle. And so with two minutes to go here in the first half, it's second and two for Miami on the Indy 14. Todd B. is trying to sell your Mike Ryan Leaf and Todd Marinovich rookie cards. Oh, you got McGuire's brother, too? I love how Tribe Fanders puts in Todd and it puts it in as a link. I'll give you a plug nickel for them. Ugh. So second down and two. Going back to Elway, besides the fact that the Colts weren't going anywhere in the standings, remember, Baltimore, Maryland still had a blue law on Sunday, so they couldn't start their games until 2 o'clock, and the NFL was looking finally by 1983 for standardized start times. They wanted a 1 o'clock start and a 4 o'clock start. 
and they couldn't do that in Baltimore. And so finally, is one of the things that the Maryland legislature tried to do to keep the Colts in Baltimore was they repealed that. You're holding on to your Bosworth rookie cards. Okay. But by then, it was too little too late. And as much of a grand old name as Memorial was for football, it was pretty much outdated by 84. Jamie says, and I agree with this, I think LA might have brought some of the excitement back. I, I, I think that the only deal now that they could have taken was the one for Indianapolis. Tribe fan will trade in Eric Mould's rookie card for them. Okay. Second and two. Two timeouts for the Dolphins as they sit on the Colt 14. Nathan. Off tackle left. Gets it from Marino, and he got it. That's Cliff Odom, not Nate. Cliff Odom with the tackle. First and 10 from the Colt 12. Nathan, short pass in the flat. Marino, far sideline. Nathan's got a scene, but he goes out of bounds at the 10. Touchdown, Tommy Vardell. Oh, boy, we're really going into the uh, memory banks for that. Caffinitis or Caffinsis, whatever you pronounce his name, makes the tackle. Second and eight, a minute 26 to go and a half. Seven, seven the score. Bennett and Johnson come in the backfield with Clayton and Duper. And Johnson the tight end. Clayton on a medium slant, second down. Marino waits. Gonna scramble, and he's brought down by Chris Scott. The left offensive end for a gain of two. And Marino, huffing and puffing, just starts pointing. Clayton, short slam is the call. Marino, rush, throws, Clayton's got it. Touchdown, Miami. Miami gets the go-ahead score. Clayton, two catches for 19 yards. The Colts on a delayed blitz. They double duper, but it didn't work. So Miami finally goes ahead. 13-7. They average 368 yards a game. Their defense is good. It only allows 257-7. and seven. Was Tommy Vardell part of that Madden Hex thing? I'd be surprised. I don't think he was on the cover, was he? Von Shaman barely converts the extra point, but barely works. 59 seconds to go. Miami will get the ball to start in the second half. They lead the Colts 14 to 7. No one's getting Guardian fans Marvin Harrison rookie card. Might be the third best card I've had behind Jeter's Tops and Farbs, Brett Farbs rookie card with Atlanta. Yes, I think the Jamie, I think you have a good point. The bad luck turn for Baltimore might have been the injury to Burt Jones. And I think, wasn't Schleister one of the reasons why teams started doing the Wonderlick test? Oh, Tommy Vardell was indeed on the cover. And he bought five copies up for his mother. But she didn't own an Xbox, and so that didn't work. Smith back to return this, under a minute to go. And Von Schaumann kicks it through the end zone. So first and ten from the 20. They go three wide. Colts have two timeouts. Allegre is their kicker. Medium slant to Porter. Pagel under center. Waits. He has time. He tries for Wansley. And that is incomplete. So Pagel four of nine for 46. About what you'd expect. Miami's defense... Maybe just because we heard Marino's name all the time, but I think the second time I've played Miami, uh, they're underrated. Wansley in the flat is the call. It goes to the far side. Pagel finds him behind the 20. He gets over the 20. First down, over the 30. It's a gain of 16. Kozlowski with a tackle at the 36. They line up. 
for the quick play. Medium out. Porter. Pagel has time. Near sideline. No! It was not a drop. Mr. Mao used to call him eating Raul Alegre. <laughs> okay, second and ten. Colts can use the middle of the field from their own 36. Porter, medium slant. Pagel back to throw. Pagel is flushed. Baumhauer got to Pagel, and that's the fourth sack. Now, I could go with Mark Herman, but you see Schleister is the backup. Pagel is the best of the bunch by a mile. So just in case you wanted to see how bad things were for the Colts quarterbacks in 1984. Third down and 16. Long cross to Porter. 22 seconds left. Pagel time. He throws. Brown got a piece of it. Bud Brown is first deflection of the game. And that will lead to a punt. Roan Stark from his 15-yard line. Gets it away. Taken by Heflin at the 25 of Miami. Gets to the 40. Illegal block. Receiving and team, forget the return because penalty. it didn't happen. Mike Pagel's brother played for the tribe, Todd B. believes. Carl Pagel in the Cleveland system. Ten seconds to go. Ball on the Miami 20. And Marino will just take the victory formation and the Colts are called timeout. Shula looks over at Frank Cush and goes, Why? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? So it's a flea flicker to duper is the call. Marino. Throw. Nope. Nope. Gets sacked at the gun. Barry Kraus with a sack. And that will be the first half. Shula and Kush do not celebrate, are looking, are glaring at each other at the end of the first half. Miami will get the ball, and we'll go through the stats and stories in 30 seconds. So, remember, the next game is the halftime game. It's just me blabbing on them at the first half here. Scoring in the second quarter, if you join us late, courtesy of DigitalAdvice.com, the best darn podcast on the web for your sports simulation and replay needs. Marino, an eight-yard pass to Mark Clayton to make it 14-7 Miami. I don't think Shirley's very happy with his first half. They have 205 net yards of offense, but only 14 points on the board. Marino, 12 of 14 for 168. They've run the ball 16 times for 55 yards. The Colts, Pagel 5 for 12 for 62. He's been sacked four times, Marino three times. It was Peyton Hillis that was on the cover of, of Madden. Okay, I didn't think it was touchdown Tommy Vardell, but you never know. And Shaq, you get a Shaq commercial, huh? What was he advertising for? Gold Bond? Uh, Papa John's. Now, if you hook your Prime up to my account, you don't have to get commercials in the game. But I'll take that penny. Excuse me. Not the first brother combo to play for the Browns and the Indians. Wayne Kirby and Terry Kirby. And this is the type of conversations you don't get on your average Fortnite stream. 
Speaking of Jack Trudeau, we talked about him earlier. I remember throwing him for like 400 yards versus the Dolphins once in 86. Trudeau wasn't a bad quarterback. It's also amazing how he just got reelected as the Prime Minister of Canada. It's amazing what people have for a second. Oh, that's Justin? I knew that was a second act of something. Miami will return to start the second half. 14-7, Dolphins lead. Heflin back deep. Kick is by Allegra to the two. Kozlowski gets it. Kozlowski just kind of turtles at the 12 and brought down by Radishowski. Radishowski tackled Kozlowski. Groaned. Oh, yeah. You know, and the puns from you guys, too, aren't groan worthy, huh? Allegra's hurt. Allegra is sitting on the turf. And Biasucci will, will <laughs> Biasucci will have to kick as Allegra pulled something on a kickoff. So the Colts the Colts are down a kicker. Nathan and Carter the running backs, Clayton and Duper the wide receivers, Hardy the tight end, Marino of course the quarterback, Foster and Giesler the tackles, Newman and Lee the guards, and Stevenson the all world center. Sweep left for Carter, first and 10 from the Miami 12. Dodge is a defender, but is hit by Cliff Odom for no gain, second and 10. So I wonder how many weeks Allegre missed. We'll find out after the game. Second and 10, Marino. Medium slant to Duper. Back to pass, rolling right, throwing to Carter to the 10, 15, 20. He is hit for a gain of 10 and a first down. Harry Krause with a tackle. So Marino's excellent day continues. And they'll spot it at the Miami 22. Nathan, trap left. Hand off from Marino, gets a good block, but... Tate Reno closes the door after a gain of two. Spotted at the 24, second and eight. Bennett and Johnson and Johnson come out. So running package for the Dolphins. Duper. Medium out the call. Flag is down. Somebody jumped. Ball start. Offense number seven. And it's the right tackle. Easily. Repeat, second down. Really need to rewatch the McKenzie brothers. Ode to Canada. Take off, you hoser. I subscribe to a couple historic TV groups on Facebook. And I believe sometime this weekend was the anniversary of their first SCTV sketch. A brilliant and underrated show. Second down and 13 for the Fishies. Bennett in the flat. They stick with a call here. Marino blitz finds Bennett at the 15, 20, 25, 30. He won't get the first down, but he does get a gain of 12. And that will make it third down and one. Uh, can that be followed by the South Park song, What Would Brian Boy Tano Do? Again, classic stuff. And that's why you guys are among the best live stream crowds on Twitch. And mix in some Tom Green episodes. I'm a bigger fan of Red Green, to be honest. Pete Johnson. Trying to get the cheapy first down on the fullback dive. Johnson motors through. Gets two yards. Barry Krause, the, the third man to hit Johnson. First and ten from the Dolphin, 33. Bennett. Will sweep right. Hand off from Moreno. Bennett waits for the sides of the part on the right side. Gets four. Vernon. Now, again, is that really Vernon? W-E-R-N-O-N? Or should it be Vernon, as in the basketball player? Anyway, Bennett gets four, and he's out of bounds at the 37. Red Green was cool on PBS. He also was pretty darn cool on the CBC. Dan Johnson. Short cross on second down. Flag is down. Ball start. Offense number 83. Mark Clayton, the wide penalty. receiver. Repeat, second down. That was too early. Can't run your route until the ball is snapped. Second and 11. 
No, Justin Bieber will not be making a cameo appearance. The cutest thing on this channel is my cat. Second down and 11. Trap left for Bennett. Woody to the near side. Gets a bit of a block. Cliff Odom with a tackle. A gain of five. Third and six. 11.04. Clock running. Third quarter. Johnson on a short cross to the tight end. Marino throws. Johnson's got it at midfield. Nesby Glasgow makes the stop. Technically, they spot it at the Colt 49, first and 10. Nathan and Carter and Hardy come back in the game. Marino, 15 for 17 for 204 and two scores. Somehow they've sacked Marino twice, which is hard to believe because his release was so quick. Duper on a medium slant. Marino has time. He goes to Nathan instead. There's a fumble, and Indianapolis recovers it. So Nathan is hit by Caffinsis, and Odom picked it up. And the Colts take over on their own 43, 9.48 to go here in the third quarter. There it is again. And so it's a second turnover for the Colts. Or for the Dolphins. That the Colts see if they can take advantage of this one. There. Did they get out of that one pretty well? McMillan. Trap right from the 43. Hand off from Pagel. McMillan to midfield. He's into the secondary and it's a first down. Now Brophy, the linebacker, is out. It'll be Roan. Ernest Roan. And so advantage Indianapolis, 9.39 to go, third quarter, first and 10. For the Colts. Trying to drive for the tying score here. McMillan. Trap right. Hand off. He's hit by Bo Camper at the 42, a gain of two. Will they be in Roan? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> that Hitler killed him back in the 30s. So, wait, you groan at me for the Justin Trudeau thing, but will they be in Roan coverage? Uh, yeah, yeah. Second down and eight from the Miami 42. Tracy Porter. On a medium slant, Pagel is blitzed. The ball is loose. Bowser knocked it out. Roan has it. Miami forces the turnover. Bowser, sha na na. And so yes, Miami was indeed in Roan coverage. He falls on the football at the Miami forty-nine. That's true. You groaned at me for the Trudeau reference, as you should have. I mean, that wasn't great. Long slant to Duper is the call. Marino trying to strike while the iron's hot. Fine. No. Randall got the hand up to block it away. Has Pagel ever got creamed? Well, you smear some cream cheese on it. Oh, that's a bagel. So second and 10 for the Fishies on their own 49. A surprisingly tight game, 14 to 7 Miami. Nathan, trap left, hand off from Marino. Nathan doesn't get much of anywhere. He's hit at the 50 by Cliff Odom. Yeah, Pagel sure got, I forgot he played for the Browns, but yes. So third and long. Now more to third receiver. Bottom of your screen. Medium slant to more. That's the call. Marino under center has good protection and is wide open at the 40, 35 yard line. It's a gain of 18. 
Larry Anderson say more than probably just a first or a longer game. By that, Marino 17 of 20 for 228. And Miami has it first and 10 from the Colt 32. 7.56 in the third. Clock running. Off tackle right for Nathan on the three wide receiver set. Tony gets across the 30 to the 28. Parker with a tackle. Second and six. Couch got hammered more than any other Browns quarterback you saw. Didn't Kozar take a ton of really tough hits, too? Bennett. Off tackle right from the 28. Hand off from Marino. He is sworn down by Johnny Cooks for a gain of two. Third and four. They are not in Von Shaman range. Just saying. So Nathan and Carter come back in. So does Bruce Hardy. Duper on a short cross. Marino blitz, throws. Duper, first down. Gain of nine. Tate Randall with the tackle. They double Duper. First and ten. Spotted at the 17. Kozar got back up because they had a chance to win. Ouch. Oh, hell. Carter, fullback dive, Miami. Screens it to Nathan instead, they audible. Marino has to do something, and he just found the nearest Dolphin jersey and threw it at it. Missing a few consonants to get into who he's range. They are now, and it would be a coin flip from here. From the 17, second and 10 for the Dolphins, 5.07 clock stop, third quarter. Carter. Fullback dive. Carter. Oh, he swarmed right over by Cliff Odom. And it's a loss of one. Third and 11. Three wide receivers. Marino will work out of the gun. Nathan to protect. Duper. Medium cross. Marino has time. He throws incomplete. Tried to dump it to Nat Moore, and that should have been intercepted. Mr. Howard, how are you? Well, we're missing a few consonants to get into Von Shaman's range, but from 35 yards, here we go. Struck to hold Von Shaman to make it a 10-point game. Yes! <laughs> Offsides, defense. Oh, now penalty. it was fourth and 11. So they'll take the points. It wouldn't give them a first down. They'll take the points. 4.15 to go, third quarter. It's the Dolphins, 17, the Colts, 7. Now, Mr. Howard's great niece had the tremendous honor of doing the national anthem before the Seahawks home opener this year. Beautiful young lady, tremendous singer. He can tell you her name. But a proud moment for that family to have that talented young woman, yeah, sing in front of the the, the 12th man in Seattle. Smith back Deep to return it. Still a 10-point game, and that will be kicked out of bounds or through the end zone, and the Colts get at the 20. Yeah, awesome stuff indeed. Awesome stuff indeed. So Pagel and company take over at their own 20. 4.15 to go. Medium slant to Porter. Miami, impossible zone blitz. Pagel will throw anyway. Pagel throws, and Judson... Just did enough to knock Porter away from the ball, second and ten. It was quite a day, I'm sure. And so proud. Dude, I could almost be better than Roseanne. Yeah. And and that young lady has a voice. Absolutely. Second and ten from the Colt 20. Middleton. 
Well, try a sweeped flag is down, so the play won't count. Ball start. Offense. Somebody moves. It's the right guard hitting. Penalty. Repeat. Second down. Yeah, put your picture up there. So second and 15. The Colts are kind of running into what I thought that they would. They just on the playmakers to come from behind. Although Miami, it's only a 10-point game. It feels like Miami should be up by a couple touchdowns, if not more. Second and 15. McMillan in the flat to call. Pago works the far side. McMillan can't get there. Third down. You had a Rocco Scotty in Cleveland for years. Yes. Tribe fan mentions uh, Carl Lewis's Francis Scott off-key performance. Well, it was that Brendan Byrne, and it was the Nets. They kind of fit. I, I'm assuming, Mr. Howard, that that is a position that rotates on a home game to home game basis. Although she could do that every week. Three wide booza back in the ball game. Wansley will block as Pagel goes out of the gun. No, Lewis. Oh. Yes, Todd. Lewis could have run from that blunder or out jump it. Porter. Medium hitch. Third down and 15 from the 15. Pagel scrolls around, finds Butler. But that was the third read. McNeil with a tackle. Butler with a catch, but could only get six. And it's fourth and nine. Clock running under four to go here in the third. Roan Stark. Especially when Charlie... Yeah, I love Charlie Steiner on ESPN. Baseball tomorrow. The fall tour goes to Cleveland. September 8th, 95 for the Orioles and the Indians. Can the Indians clinch the American League Central? Ben Johnson sang the anthem better. A little more pumped up to do that, don't you think? Start to punt it from his six. Your sideline, Heflin from the 32, and he's hit at the 46 for a gain of 11. I never get where they actually get the ball, but his return of 11. Spot it at the 46. Yes, thank you, Todd, for that. I got a rim shot. 3.18 to go here in the third. Try panel will give Maurice Cheeks the ultimate pass on not great singing, calming that young lady down. Yep. It's got to be so nerve-wracking to do that in front of all those strangers. And, of course, by the anthem, some of them, especially in football games, have got to be blitzed beyond reason. Hardy, medium hitch on first down. Marino back to throw it. Marino's got time. Hardy came back to it. It was a bad pass to begin with, but Hardy just outran the route, second and ten. So you're sitting there, and you're, do you're performing in front of all these people in the arena or the field. And... Yeah, how, how could you not be nervous? I mean, you look at people like Renee Rancourt with the Bruins and the gentleman who sang all those years at Madison Square Garden. I mean, they get used to it. But for to be put in that situation, especially when you're 15, 16, 17 years old. Carter trap left, 3.12 to go. Carter is hit at the 49 by Cook's. The Colts' defense has done okay. 3.07 to go, third down and seven. Some of us are old enough to remember Robert Goulet and Ali Liston, too. We'll never trust a Canadian to sing the American National Anthem, right? Now, I wonder what lasted longer, Goulet's bad version of the Star-Spangled Banner or that fight. Duper. Medium out from the 49. Marino has time. Far sideline. First down. Duper. He is knocked out of bounds at the 30. Tate Randall. With a tackle. Duper. Five catches for 93. 2.25 to go. Clock stopped. 
Ball at the 30-yard line. Ollie. Oh, Ken Burns has a new or documentary on Ali. That was his excuse. Well, you know, I know most of the words to O Canada. You don't want me to sing them, but I know most of them. Clayton on a medium hitch on first down. Marino throws. He tries to find Tony Nathan, and Nathan isn't there. So second and 10, 2.22 to go. Bennett and Johnson in the game. I formation. Woody Bennett. Trap left. Marino hands off. Bennett doesn't get anywhere. Odom has eight tackles. Ronnie Lee, the right guard, has not had a day that you can cover himself in clover. That's three bad runs. So third and ten, two sixteen to go. Clock running again. They're not in Von Schaman range. And Shula is thinking, we've owned this team today. We only have the two touchdowns. Johnson on the short cross. Marino has it. So does Johnson. And Johnson gets the first down. He caught it short and just kind of stumbled over to get the gain of 11. Preston Davis with the tackle. First and 10, 94 seconds to go in the third. All of us command instead of in all thy sons command. You want to rewrite. I don't think we get that choice. I've seen Cosell's real hair. He wasn't terribly bald. He wasn't like Garagiola. So a minute 34 to go. First and 10. Off tackle right for Bennett out of the eye. Woody gets a good block. It's a gain of three. Warren and Maxwell with a tackle. Second and seven. 16 seconds to go, or 57 seconds to go. Ball in the 16. Carter out of the flat. Marino near side. He's got Carter at the 20. 15, 10, 5, 4. So Carter's third catch. Odom makes the tackle, and that will be the end of the third quarter. The Dolphins lead pretty much or dominating every place but on the scoreboard. After 45 minutes, it is the Dolphins 17, the Colts 7. We'll be back. I would not say that this is a slobber knocker by any stretch of the imagination. Only scoring in the third quarter, however, was Von Schaman from 35 to make it 17-7. Miami has dominated this game. 21 first downs to 7. 343 net yards to 94. In fact, time of possession is almost 2 to almost 2 to 1. But the Colts still have a shot here. Marino 21 to 28 for 281. And two scores, but they've sacked him three times. Pagel, six for 15 for 68 yards and five sacks. Colts can run the ball, but they're running out of chances to be able to do that. And no one from Indy has more than one catch. So first and goal from the Indianapolis four. Yes. I'm saying that my play-by-play -play is that good, huh? Yes, uh, APC does have the ability to run a narrator. The narrator has gotten quite good over the years. Two tight end set. Nathan and Johnson, the backs. They'll work out of the eye. Johnson and Hardy, the tight ends. Nathan on a dive on first and goal from the four. Tony is hit at the two by Maxwell. So second and goal. Clock running. Fourth quarter. Past the one o'clock hour here on a Tuesday afternoon. My name is Ron Jack. Welcome to the program. Start of the fourth quarter. 17-7 Miami over Indianapolis. 
Well, baseball for you tomorrow. Thursday's football game is San Francisco at Philadelphia. Joe Montana and Dan Marino. Pretty good week for you guys here on for sports. So the 49ers at the Eagles will be the Thursday halftime game. And then next week, and the next two weeks, we'll have three football games for you. So what time, if I was to do a baseball game, outside of, you know, what other day besides Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday would you like to see a baseball game? We can do that. So Nathan and Johnson in the backfield. Pistol Pete on the dive is the call. Hand off from Marino, and Pete plunges in. Nine plays, 52 yards, and probably the dagger. Is the narrator built in? You can turn it on. I'll show you that in a minute. Here's a touchdown by Johnson. And Von Schaumann barely hooks it around the extra point. Wow. Dolphins 24. Colts 7. All right, so we'll show you the narrator just because. Or not. Apparently, I wait. Never mess with it in baseball. Well, you know. Just let me know, and I'll do your baseball games for you, too. Smith back to return. Von Schaumann to the goal, to the one. Smith, 10, 20, return of 19. Shiver with the tackle. Now, will you let me do Okay. Press box narrator. Ah! We'll get the plug in for a second for your for your niece here. You can do pre-play, play, full play-by-play -play -play in the chalkboard mode, which is what we're running, pre-snap and post-snap. And you got David, the male voice, and Zero, the female voice. And what they're going to do is just read you exactly everything you see in that play-by-play -play box. Mr. Howard would like to remind you to check out Effervescence on Spotify by Sahara Williams. I'd play it for you, but I'll get dinged. But um, That is his niece, great niece, and she's the one that sang at what's the name of your stadium now? The, the Seahawks home opener. First and ten for Indy. Trap left for Middleton. Hand off from Pagel. Middleton gets a good block. Glenn Blackwood with the tackle. That's a gain of six. Second and four. Pagel looks at Dave Young on a short out. Second down. Pagel feels the pressure. Throws down to the sideline. And Blackwood covered it. So third down today. The Colts four for nine. They need four here. They bring out Booza. Wansley to block. Pagel out of the gun. Porter on a medium cross the call. Pagel rolling left. Throws right. Flag is down. Pass interference. Defense. Number 28. Automatic. First and down. And Don McNeil with a pass interference. As the Colts finally catch a break. So all over him. They stay in the gun. Ball at the Colt 34. 13.09 regulation time. Wansley. I'm not going to run him. In the flat. It's George Wansley. And Pagel is flushed. And Pagel is sacked for a loss of four. Glenn Blackwood. With the sack, second and 14. So, again, all this talk of the Colts offense, as I'm going to sneeze here in a second. Decide what you're going to do. We'll run a play. Ray Butler, medium hitch. 
Pagel sticks with a call. He throws over the middle. Butler's got it. First down, a gain of 17. McNeil with a tackle. And the Colts bring it out to their own 47. Wansley. Fullback dive. Hand off. He's hit at the for a gain of one by Bowser. Ray Donaldson, the center, with a bad block. Second and nine. Dickey in the game. Curtis sweeps to the right out of the gun. Dickey doesn't get anywhere. Swarmed over by Bo Camper and half the city of Miami. So Bo Camper with the fifth tackle of the game. Dickey, their primary running back, had averaged over 150 a game. Has four carries today for minus two yards. So third down and 13. Butler. Medium slant. Pagel again out of the gun. Pagel waits. Throws. Incomplete. Tried for Booza. Pagel is smashed after the throw. Bob Baumhauer with a hurry in the Colts will punt. Roan Stark win behind him. Yeah, she on YouTube, Mr. Howard. Zahara Williams, Z-A-H-A-R-A. -A -A. And Williams is her last name. And you can find her on Spotify. I'm sure Amazon Music. All the streaming services, I would imagine. What a voice. What a really good voice. Stark to punt. Miami will try to return this. From inside the 15. Oh, taken by Heflin at the 8 to the 20. And it's a gain of 11, so they'll spot it at the 19. Yeah, heck, even Ron's on YouTube. That's true. But not as a singer. God help you all. First and 10 for the Dolphins from their own 19. Duper. Medium out. Marino on first down. Looks to the far sideline, but doesn't have Duper. As Randall with a good coverage. Tony Nathan. On a sweep to the left. Near sideline. Ten minutes to go. Nathan across the 20. Cliff Odom has had a busy day. He's at 10 tackles. The banner video, I, I'd have to look. It didn't get 10,000 views. And that was on Gardner's channel. Cliff Odom wants his five seconds of recognition for having ten tackles. Third and five for the Dolphins. Nathan Nine carries 18 yards. Hardy on a short cross is the call. Marino back has time and he does has Hardy for a first down. A gain of eleven. Marino, 22 for 30 for 292 yards. Dave, Dave reaps the rewards. Well, yes. First and 10. 9 12 to go in the game. So tomorrow it'll be the Orioles and the Indians from September 8th, 1995. All right. I'll read this now. ZZ Sings on YouTube. ZZ Sings. And for our Canadian friends, ZZ Sings. All one word on YouTube. About to so first and ten for the Miami thirty five. Carter trap left. Hand off from Marino. Carter gets a block over the forty into the secondary and he gets the Al Red Sox fan measurement. Odom with the tackle. It's a gain of nine and three quarters. Second and inches. From the Miami 45, Duper, medium fly on second and short. Marino has time. Marino tries for Nathan and won't get him. How good have the Dolphins been on offense today? They are 12 for 14 on third down. 
Nathan and Johnson now on a two tight end set. Nathan, first down and more, a gain of five. Tate Randall with his ninth, ninth tackle. Tony Nathan, 10 carries, 23 yards. The Dolphins don't get a lot of yards on the ground, but it's been effective. Spot it at the 50. 7.39 clock running. Carter, off tackle, right. Marino just trying to eat some clock. And Carter gets to the 48 before Steve Parker can make a tackle. You've been known to sing back up pretty well. Just saying. Wink, wink. All right, Todd. Send a couple of 8x10 glossies. And an audition reel to reel to DaveGardnerHairSalon.com. That's DaveGardnerHairSalon.com. Second and eight. Seven minutes clock running. Bennett and Johnson and Johnson in the game. Duper. Medium cross. Marino back has time. He's got Duper open at the thirty. It's a gain of 21. Marino is now over 300 yards. 23 for 32 for 313. And his drive for 5,000. 625. Clock running. Eight plays, 54 yards in the drive. <laughs> I'm not reading that one out loud. But yes, that, that is the name of it. Bennett. Trap left. Woody gets to the 24 before Odom can make the tackle. Second and seven for the Dolphins. So they will go to 4-0. and oh. The Colts are respectable 2-2. Two and two. Miami... On the road the next two weeks, they'll play St. Louis and Pittsburgh before hosting the Oilers. We'll have that Week 8 game at New England, by the way, between Miami and them. Their defense, yardage-wise, is fourth best in the NFL. They gave up 257.7 a game before today, and I can't see what they've given up today, but they played very well. I would think that they'll have the East clinched pretty easily. They they are already 2-0 in the division. They'll go 3-0 and after beating the Colts today. The Jets and Bills are awful. They've only given up 110 yards to the Colts today. <laughs> The uh, curl up or die. I like that. That'd be a good, that you know, an appropriate holiday hair salon in Vermont. Curl up and die. Yes. You you, you probably you just did get booted off. I wonder if he's watching. Luckily for you, he is not. <laughs> Ah, uh, 550, second and seven. Johnson on a fullback dive, handoff from Marino from the 24. Johnson hit at the 23. 510 to go, third down and six. They'll go three wide. Nathan in the backfield. Wifey gives me second pill. Have a good day at work, dear. You stole that from Carrie Fisher in the Blues Brothers. I like that. I like that. Nat Moore. Medium cross from the 23. Marino. Good protection. Moore's got it at the 5. Moore is in with a touchdown. And Miami is about what you expected in this game. Finally, they put it away here in the fourth quarter. So Nat Moore, three catches, 68, and that's a second score. And the extra point is good. So 31-7 to score. And if you promise to go visit our sponsors, 
you can change the channel. I'm speaking of stealing. So Smith will take it deep. Anderson and Caps and whatevers. What was the betting line on this one? The computer had it at 10. And in real life, it was 11 and a half. The Colts were 1 and 2 coming into this game. So Marino, 22, or 24 for 33, 336 and 3 scores. Pretty good day for Danny. Von Schaumann to Smith at the 8. Across the 20, Smith to midfield. Smith is going to score. And the Colts get a touchdown. A 92-yard return from Phil Smith. He had all sorts of daylight. He got a block and a block and another block. Now, the computer's going to say there's no extra point kicker here because I didn't get the chance to put in um, Biasucci. Technically, it's Biasucci with a kick. And Dean, yes, Allegre. Allegre is still in the game. How about that? So the Colts make it 31-14 to fix his on. We do this just for ratings, you'll understand. So Miami watching for the onside kick. The Colts kick it deep. Miami takes over at their own 20. So 425 to go. Marino's going to say, well, if you're going to just give me the football, I'm just going to throw it. Short cross to Hardy. Marino back to throw. Marino has got Hardy. Hardy has a first down, gain of 11. Marino is now thrown for a season high, 347 yards. You think he's our player of the game? I think so. 417, clock running. Carter, fullback dive to Joe. Joe over the 30, hit at the 35 by Wisniewski, a gain of four. And the clock is running. So, Indians, Orioles tomorrow. And again, we'll try, if you ask for a baseball game starting next week, we'll find another slot to get that in for you. The fall baseball tour. As we have football triple headers the next two weeks. Second and six. Nathan. Trap left. Hand off from Marino. Tony won't get the first. He'll take some time off as Chris Scott makes the tackle at the 38 gain of three. Yep, the Indians are on. They're clincher against the Orioles in 95. Third down and three. 2.56 to go. Niners and Eagles from the vet. It is your Thursday game this week. Bennett and Johnson come in. Duper. Short out for Marino. Dan has got time. He goes over the middle to Bennett. Woody to the sideline. First down. And he's knocked out of bounds at the 49 of Miami. First and 10. So Marino adds on to that total. 358. Got an outside shot at 400 if I fling it. Dan Johnson. Short slant to the tight end. Marino waits, throws. He goes to Duper instead, and Duper's got the first down. Seven catches a buck 24. Tate Randall with the tackle. And Miami will take it to the two-minute warning. Not like the Dolphins haven't run in this game. They've run it 38 times for a buck 17. And the Dolphin defense has held the Colts so far to 110 net yards. Are the Eagles using the silver lining playbook? You know what? The computer only has that a two-point game. Bennett, trap left. Hand off from Moreno. Bennett near sideline. Bennett over the 40 to the 38. Gain a three. And the Colts know it's over. So a rare blowout as the Dolphins 
pretty much on the line of scrimmage. 470 net yards. Johnson on a dive. Marino hands it off. Flag is down. Gain of Holding one. Offense number 72. And 10 yards. Mr. Penalty. Lee, Mr. Lee has not had himself a good game. Good game. So second and 17. And Marino will just hand it off again. Fullback dive to Johnson. Minute eight to go. Pete to the 45. He gets to the 40. Randall for the tackle. Dwight Stevenson with center. A minute to go. Clock running. And that should do it. Marino in a victory formation. And that will do it. Barry Krause gets credit for the tackle. But Miami ends up winning a one-sided affair. The Dolphins go to 4-0 in 84 with a 31-14 thumping of the Indianapolis Colts. And there's the story right there. Marino, 27 for 36 for 368. Miami, 40 minutes they had the football and had 477 net yards. Allegre out one week. Brophy is out four weeks. And wow, I didn't even catch that. Miami didn't have A.J. Dewey. So Dan Marino, 27 for 36 for 368 and a quarterback rating of 135. I'm Ron Juckett. We'll talk to you tomorrow for fall baseball and then the Niners and the Eagles, Thursday at 11.45. Take care, everybody.